do you want? Is that one eyed bastard here? Who the hell are you? You dare call our boss that? You bums obviously don't know me. Oh, I know you. You're one of Lou's men, the one they say can kick like a mule. Well, if you know who I am, then that's the bastard to come out. Watch out. You're on our home ground now. I couldn't give a shit who this area belongs to. Where I am always belongs to me. Well, then, maybe I'd like to find out. If that's the truth. Hit me! <laughs> Stop it. Lee Tong Hao, what do you want? I want one of your men. Who's that? The one behind you. The fat dog. Uh, I don't know him. <laughs> He's one of my men. Do you think I'd hand over one of my men to a member of another gang? He used to be in charge of keeping Mr. Lu's books. But then he went missing with some money. And now, I must take him back with me. All by yourself, you won't. I've always done things on my own. <laughs> Good. Then let's see what you can do. All by yourself. If you can beat me, then he won't go with you. All right. enough now. We're going back. Going back? But then I'll be killed. No, you won't. I'll see to that. You're my responsibility. On your knees! Damn your ass. You've been treated well enough. You dare to lose money gambling after you've stolen it, you fool. Well then, what are we to do with you? You must be punished, according to our rules. Let's put him in a pig's cage. And throw him in the sea. But no! Anything, anything but that. No, 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 no not to me, no, no. no. <laughs> Tung Hao, what's the meaning of this? Mr. Lu, please spare his life. We've been together for a long time. I promised he would not be killed. Mr. Lu, he came willingly. All right. I'll spare him this time. But our rules can't be broken. But then, you are left to punish him. In any way that you see fit. Give me the brush. 
landing iron. That dog, your tattoo is not done. From now on, you're not one of them. George, I'm Michael. The bus is waiting for you up at the villa. Good. is like carrying a time bomb. Oh, it's all right. No one knows you're carrying diamonds. I yeah, hope you're right. Daniel, Daniel, get ready to go. Okay. in covering our tracks up or we'll be in trouble. Why? Damn you. People know it's us. There was a robbery at Clearwater Bay shortly after 11 o'clock this morning. A Mercedes-Benz traveling from the airport suddenly had its path blocked by another vehicle. A briefcase <laughs> was taken and the vehicle... Fancy getting your mouth around my saucy spread? That the briefcase Tara, eat it yourself. <laughs> were reported stolen a few days ago. The police say they have a few clues to go on. It is believed that several robbers were involved in the holdup. Some of them were reportedly armed with axes and knives. However, the police could not confirm this, and we will try to get further news to you on the robbery in the late news. And that's all for now from the main news for this evening. I'm in. Huh? Those two cars. It, it wasn't me. Yes, it was. You were involved in that robbery. Both of them. All I did was steal a couple of cars. I didn't... 
know anything about that robbery there. Who asked you to steal those cars? I don't know. Some guy called Lee paid me $2,000 just to steal a couple of cars. Then you're a fool. They made a lot while you're still a poor man. You'd better watch out the police don't get you. If they do, you'll be counted as a robber. Not only the police will be after us, <laughs> some other guys will also be on your tails. We must stay in hiding. No one must go out. Not even you. Mm. You must also wait to take our shares. Yes. Boss, when can we sell the diamond? Mm. Our buyer is on his way from the States with cash. Don't how? Yes, boss. What shall I do? You guard the diamond, and don't you damn well lose it. George. Hi. How are you? Mm. Have you thought of any new leads for us? <laughs> While you've been lying here? As I have told you many times before now, I am in hospital because of the robbery. You should be out there catching the thieves not questioning me. <sighs> All right, you have a good rest and get better. Hong Kong's a city of crime. Right, gentlemen. I've called this emergency meeting to pass on bad news. I've just heard from Hong Kong that the North Pole Star Diamond has been stolen. George is in hospital, but should be all right. Now, as you know, the gem company has insured that diamond with us for over three million dollars. If it's not recovered by the end of the month, we stand to lose everything. All right, let's have suggestions. What steps can we take? And let's map out a plan of action. Have the Hong Kong police taken any action yet? It's been reported to them, but so far they haven't a clue who did it. I suggest we pay for its return. That may work. But don't forget, we paid out before and ended up with nil results and losing even more. Well, we must do something. I've already planned some action, but it needs your approval. I agree we offer a reward for information leading to its recovery. But at the same time, I think we should send our new operative to Hong Kong. This man was with the CIA in the Far East for several years. Now, he has an excellent record, and now he's with the company. I think he's the right man for the job. Where is this man? Mr. Lucas? Good morning. Mr. Lucas, the board of directors have given their approval for you to take any action necessary for the recovery of the North Pole Star. I've been known to be called the black six million dollar man. Hello, can I come in? Lucas. Well, what are you doing here so soon? Don't forget, time is money. Well, George, aren't you going to ask me to come in? Come on in. By the way, how's the rib? Oh, they're better now. It wasn't serious. There's no more pain? No, Lucas, I haven't got any information. How can I get back the diamond? Take it easy. Now, you remember, you can do anything you want to, providing you're willing to learn and to go about things properly. Right, but, well, neither of us is familiar with this place. And where the hell are we to begin? Just keep cool. I'll handle it. Don't worry. I have an old schoolmate who's with the Hong Kong police. There's a possibility. 
Maybe I'll get something out of him. I've just received the picture you sent me. But what is his name? His name is Lucas. Ah, Lucas is his name. Don't you worry. We'll take care of him. Huh. There's some bastard asking questions about the diamond. Good evening. I want you to keep an eye on him. Get rid of him if you have to. Yes. Xiao Chan, wait here. Yeah, I've got some business. How do you like the show? Great. Good. Fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> Not really. It's not really all that fantastic. You could see much better back home in the States. <laughs> Mr. Liu, you're a humble person. All but all of your staff are first class. That's why our head office sent us out here to do business with a professional. Then since we know each other, how much can you offer? 500,000 American dollars. But don't you think that price is too low? Your stone is too hot. It won't be easy for us to sell it. You know that it's worth three million bucks. Can you bet? Our highest offer is only 800,000. And that's as high as we'll go. You think about it. No, thank you. It's far too low. Well, Mr. Lou, if you don't sell it to us, I'm afraid you won't be able to find another buyer. Maybe so. But I can always give it to my fiance as a wedding present. She'll like it. Now you must excuse me, gentlemen. I have to go. And now we have more news on the recent robbery at Clearwater Bay Road. We can now confirm that the valuable diamond, the North Pole Star, is missing. It was insured with an American insurance company for a sum which has not been disclosed. The company is now offering a reward of $100,000 on who can provide relevant information. $100,000? That's more money than we've ever made. You are not kidding. We'll never see that kind of money. We ought to try and make some more out of our customers. Over 30 people were made homeless, but they were given shelter by the social welfare department. No one was injured. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you. Louisa. Yes. Yes, sir. Gandhi. Yes. How are you very familiar with this place? Well, it's because of my job. <laughs> Louisa, Inspector Liu is here. Oh, really? Inspector Liu? <laughs> Here's to every happiness and every success. Hi. Inspector, I thought you'd forgotten me. <laughs> no way. I don't come here anymore. My boss will start wondering where I get my money from. <laughs> oh, you're kidding. That man is. Must I stand? Oh, come here. Let me introduce you. This man's name is George. Hello, Hello. how are you? Now, he's my old friend, Lucas. Hello. Hi. And he's here to give us some money. Oh? Is that why you're really here? <laughs> Don't be any attention to him. He's joking. Louisa, you must have heard something about the recent diamond robbery. Well, he's been sent by the insurance company. Ah, oh, so you're the man. <laughs> I thought we'd agreed not to talk business tonight, man. Hey. Your good health. Cheers. Well, now that we've finished our drinks, I think it's about time for you to introduce us to some ladies. Oh, yes, of course I'll find you some ladies. <laughs> you certainly don't believe in wasting much time. Hey, George. 
Diamonds are a girl's best friend. You should know that. Hey, amen. Wake up. Come on, you lazy devil. Wake up. Come on. Wake up. Haven't you been watching TV? It's broken. Somebody's coming to fix it. The insurance company's offering a reward. Now's our chance. What? This time you've been smart and we'll make some money. This time we'll make some money. No. What did you say? We won't get a chance to spend it. These ain't ordinary crooks. If we call the police for a big trouble, they're all murderers. But how can they know it was you? No, they find out. I'm sure of it. The only thing wrong with you is you haven't got any damn guts. Okay, then you can hide here forever. What is it? Oh, I want it. Not all you want. Get out. Get out of it. <laughs> Louisa, what do you want with me? Lucas, if I can supply some information about the diamond, will you pay me the $100,000? If you can supply me the right information, the reward money will certainly go to you. What information can you give us? I have a friend called Amen. He has some information about the diamond. Where's he now? Who are you looking for? You are men. What are you on? I'm Lucas. Your girlfriend sent me over here. Whatever for? The North Pole Star. I don't know what the hell you're talking about, man. Perhaps you come to the wrong place, huh? Say you know nothing about it? Please let me go. If you tell me about the diamond and help me find it, you'll have all the money you ever wanted in your life, you hear? You've only given me three thousand dollars. I have to pay rent, everything. You think that's fair? Well, think about it. That's a lot of money. I know nothing at all. Well, if you don't cooperate, I'll hand you over to police. It's your decision. Better decide. This is your chance. The money's waiting for us. What are you afraid of? What's the matter? All right. I will tell you. I'm waiting. Well, I don't really know that much. But do you know? I supplied the cars for them. I went out and stole two. That's it. I know nothing else. Where'd you take them to?
5,000 here with me. If you can take me to the place where the diamond's being kept at, I'll give you the rest. Come on, let's go. interfering bastard. I, I, I told him nothing, Mr. Lou. I told him nothing. Uh, oh, uh, you won't tell me the truth? Well, maybe Cathy's enjoy being tortured. Get up! Bastard. <laughs> I'll tell you, boss. Well, tell me. I told him I got you the cars, but, but nothing else, boss. Nothing else, boss. Why should I lie? You're lying now. I want to know why you went to the woodyard. Huh? Charlie. Huh? Where the hell are we going to? To a ship, moored quite near where we are now. I have a feeling, a premonition about this diamond, and it's not a good one. Uncle, trust me, it's all right. Everything's okay. Mm. I hope you're correct. Wait. Hello. What are you doing? to survive, you'll have to be more ruthless. But boss, our situation's already bad. We shouldn't make it any worse. Hmm. How right you are. Your uncle's here? Yes. Ah. Diamonds, the best. 
best I've seen in my entire life. It's a true creation of God. Uh, oh, man, how many days? It's perfect. Wonderful. We know it's a damn good one. Your job is just to cut it. How long would you want to cut the damn thing? At least ten days. Mm, that's too long. And seven. All right. Seven days. I'll allow you. I'll send you a girl round. This is our custom. No. I want three of them. Huh? Why's that? I want you to send me three so that I can play my favorite game of Mahjong. Oh. You're really very young at heart, old man. I hope the three don't kill you. What's wrong with you? Why didn't you tell me that you were coming over here? Don't you know I'm Ed's dad? I know he is. Tung Hao, I'm tired of this kind of living. Can't we just leave here and go somewhere else? There's no way out. The boss needs me. You only think of your damn Mr. Liu. Don't you realize you're committing crimes and that it's wrong? One day you're going to be killed. I would gladly die for that man. I was at one time an orphan. It's thanks to Mr. Lewin here. If it wasn't for him, I'd still be in the gutter, begging for what I could get. But what's the big difference between a beggar and a robber? One gets his money legally while the other does not. Don't you think you'll ever be punished for the things that you've done? Don't you ever stop and think about the woman who wants to be your wife? Tung Hao, I spend most of my time worrying about you. All right. You don't care if I can't sleep. Because I'm worried that you might get yourself killed. But don't come to me telling me how great Mr. Liu is. Nah. Don't touch me. I work in such a low-class nightclub, bothered all the time by that man. I just can't take much more of this. I just can't. Please, will you get me out of that damn place? I can't stand it. I can't stand it. I've made up my mind to leave that place. Tung <laughs> Hao, didn't you say that you really loved me? Well, now you can prove it to me. All I ask is that you take me away. <laughs> Please promise me. Is he dead? Yes, sir. How? Oh. I would say he was beaten to death. There are wounds all over his body. There's no ID. Wait. Lucas, take a look. Is he your man? It's him.
for tattoo? Yes. Yes, sir. We can do many types. Some plants, some animals, or even some girls. Which do you like? <laughs> I'd like to see them. Well, have a look around. Well, sir, which one do you like? Which one do you like, eh? I like more of these. I like this. Oh. <laughs> That's very unusual. It must be another place. I've been all around Kowloon and Hong Kong, and they tell me you are the greatest. But now I'm here, you don't welcome me. I couldn't get the color in. Your skin is much too rough. You'll have to go somewhere else. I hope they can help you. No. no, I've never seen him. No. Hold it. I hope that you've been telling me the whole truth. There's no reason for you to worry. I know that you weren't involved in the murder. All I want is the truth. Can you prove my innocence? Yes. I don't know this man. Miss Nana introduced him to me, and he asked me for a tattoo on his arm. That was the first time I spoke to him, and as it happens, it'll also be the last. Nana. Come in, sir. Thank you. What's the black guy doing here? Tell the boss. Right. Boss. The black guy's here. Oh? That man's a damn tough bastard. Tell all our men to be careful. Sir. Thank you. That black guy. See him sitting over there? Well, you keep your eyes on him. Right. Good. Ladies and gentlemen, we are proud to present the sexy dancing star of our show who is guaranteed to titillate you. How about a big warm welcome for a lovely lady, Miss Nana? <laughs> Come over and sit here. Okay. We're all friends. Boss, it's all arranged. Good. I want him killed as soon as he leaves. Right, boss. This 
gentleman was looking for you. Where's it out? I must say, I don't think I can remember you. Not at all. <laughs> There's no Chinese proverb that says, strangers today, friends tomorrow. We'll get to know each other very soon. Miss Nana, what are you drinking? Nothing. You have what you like. You can put it on my bill. There's one thing I really admire about you, Nana, and that's your oriental nature. Shall we make friends? Let me tell you, I don't want to. Because I don't know you, and because you're black. Miss Nana. Miss Nana. I'm our man's friend. You should know him. I don't know anyone of that name. <laughs> I hope you'll remember. Your murderers. If you don't want to die, you better run away. You're gonna need all the help that you can get. a problem I couldn't solve. Well, that may be as maybe, but some problems just can't be solved. We'll see. Just who can't solve what problem when you put a little effort into it. <laughs> <laughs> Your Chinese legs aren't bad. I thank you. How does the feet taste? You're not so bad yourself. Puts us about right. Come on, the police are here. Let's go. Black man, you're lucky this time. No man, you won't get away the next time. What are you doing here? I'm just visiting. No, you can't stay here. Hmm. Nana. Why every time that I come? Do you tell me to go, huh? I'm too busy to stand here talking to you. <laughs> you bastard. You think you're too good for me. Well, you're not, and I'm the boss around here. You do what I tell you. When I call you, you must come to me. I don't want any of your excuses. Do you hear me? All right. Stop crying. You'll ruin the atmosphere. Come on. Stop it. Stop it. Why don't you ask me where I've just been out to? I don't want to know. 
Jung Ho. Don't touch me. You must think that I'm no better than a damn prostitute. I see I must be clearer. I've asked you to take me away from that damn place so many times before. You must be gotten away from your precious Mr. Lu. Tong Hao, you'll regret this for the rest of your life. Your damn Mr. Lu. I hate him for what he is and what he's done to you. But you don't see that. You shut up. I can't stand him. Bullshit. It's a dirty game. But you are much dirtier. If you're not willing to stay here, no one will stop you from going your own way. <laughs> you think that I'd be here willingly? You think that I was born to be a whore? I didn't want to screw him. <laughs> you saw it. Tell him he's not the man you thought he was. <laughs> he's evil. He's a devil. I tell you, I know what I'm saying. He only wants to use your talents. You know better than a damn dog. You know better than a dog. Damn. Hello? That Lucas? Hang on, I'll get him. It's for you. Who is it? Yep. You, Lucas? Yes. Who is this? Who are you? I'm called... Fat Dog. Have you lost a diamond? You're right. Word spreads very quickly in Hong Kong. I know that you still haven't found the diamond. So if you're still seeking its return, bring 50,000. We'll meet at noon, down by the sea. Now we'll meet near Saigon Ferry Pier at exactly 12 noon. Have you got that? Good. Look for my boat. Hold on. Who are you? Lucas is meeting Fat Dog tomorrow at noon, somewhere near the Saigon Ferry Pier. Tung Hao, as a result of your damn mercy, Fat Dog has contacted Lucas. So you're Fat Dog? Yes. I want to be friends. Really? You call me out here just to make friends? Huh. I have some information. Can I trust you? Do you know who called the police the other night when you were surrounded? So you called the police? Why, of course I did. You'd know who they were? Of course. One of them is responsible for these bandages. Ah. Ah! What are you doing? I was just making sure you weren't lying to me. I want 50,000 for all of my information. But what kind of things can you tell me? I can tell you who stole the diamond, how they did it, and where the damn thing's now being hidden. Fat dog. I didn't bring long enough money. You tell me first, and I'll pay you later, okay? No. Your reward is $100,000. I only want half. I won't bargain anymore. Give me the money and I'll tell you. All right, but when can I see you? Nine o'clock. At the Chimps Joy Ferry Pier. Okay. Why are you here? Fat dog, you've asked for death instead of enjoying a long life. Huh? What's that? Oh, oh, what are you saying? It's no use pretending. You see, we know what you've been up to. Come on. We're taking you to the boss. 
you to work much faster. You better hurry up. He's an old man. You shouldn't try to ask him to work any harder. Get out of here. Hi. Sit down. Hi. Look. <laughs> I already knew that. He's another victim. Two people have been killed because of that diamond. The police don't even know a damn thing of what the hell is happening. Oh, friend, do you expect us to make progress reports to your company? Your police department moves as slow as a snail. That's why the crime rate is so high. <laughs> the rate is still really quite low in comparison with the states. All right, Bobby. But I really want your help. All I want, Bobby, is your full cooperation. That's all. Uh, we are trying our best. We're using all our available manpower. We have come up with one small clue. There's a jewelry shop in Kowloon. A famous diamond cutter has gone missing. I think that... Well, I feel that if we could only somehow find that old man, then we would find the diamond. But then you can never be sure. Thanks for the information. But I better be getting back to my room. Um, 
A moment. Don't you go getting emotional. Look at you. Beautiful. Another one. Tonight, we're having a delicacy. Rabbit stew. Huh? You put them down! Darn you! Darn you! Darn you! You leave them alone! Damn it! You always give us canned food, so why don't we eat one? Huh. You think this is a QE2? Where the hell do you think that you are? You dirty bastard! How do you dare to provoke me? Tony, I'm going to kill you! That's a good move. I'm stuck. You could move your nightmare. Ah, you're right. You move. Check. I think you've got me this time. You could cover with your bishop. Ah, I see. That's a fantastic move. But George, it looks like you're playing both sides of the fence. What do you mean? It seems that you've already arranged all my moves for me. I'm always a loser. That's why I must change it. There's no other way I could be sure of absolute privacy. Follow me. Take a seat. Let's have a drink first. What'll it be? Huh? Mr. Lula's situation has turned very sour on us. Do you still want to have a drink? We Chinese have a saying, while you still have life, make the most of it. George, I think we should toast our cooperation. <laughs> Since our little cooperation, I have received nothing. You promised me one third of the diamond's value. You're right. I did promise you. But that Lucas, he's causing so much trouble. The black man should never have been allowed to get this far in the first place. I can't stay any longer, I must get away. All I want is 500,000 Hong Kong dollars. The rest is yours. <laughs> My friend, I'm afraid I don't carry that much cash with me. That's your business. All I want is the money. If things go wrong with your end of the deal, I'm not going to be responsible for it. <sighs> You'll have your money tomorrow. I hope that's to your satisfaction. Please. All right. 
I'll wait one more day. Goodbye. Goodbye. You too. Make sure he gets back. Goodbye. Goodbye. Mr. Liu, I don't think we should be doing this. Tung Hao, why do you always treat me like a little boy? Why do you do it? In this world, if you don't start the wars, then others will. You should at least know that fact. Think about it. Where are you taking me? What? To a place far, far away. <laughs> Mr. Lou, Lucas has already met her. How can we let her go? <laughs> She's going because Lucas knows her. All right, my friend. Why do you think he's so stupid? He'll do anything at all to find us. Otherwise, he's failed. And he's the kind of man who, like me, cannot tolerate failure. Boss, I will go. Just tell me whatever you'd like me to do. Huh? This is one of the latest drugs from the States. When a man takes this drug, he'll become excited. His heart will beat faster and faster until he cannot control it. And then he will die in the end. No, no. You get Lucas excited and then let him die in complete happiness. <laughs> For all our sakes, I'm willing to do this just once. Good. Good girl. You'll be rewarded. The moment that I have that stone, you'll have all that you've ever wanted. Tomorrow. Wait up. Go and tell your uncle to start cutting. No, I don't want this one. But there's another brand, only I don't know what it's called. It helps you to give up smoking. I'm sorry, lady, but we don't stock that stuff. Oh, Nana. What are you doing here all by yourself? Ah, so it's you. The last time we met at the nightclub, you didn't seem to be all that friendly towards me. Why don't we start again over a quiet drink? I hope you'll have that drink with me. I hope that we can be friends. If you want to go and have a drink, I'd certainly like that. Why don't we go now, hmm? That's beautiful. Let's go then. <laughs> Over there. Is that right, sir? Thank you. You're a pretty girl. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she is beautiful. <laughs> Lucas, why did you come to stay in Hong Kong? You don't know, then, what I'm doing here. Ah, excuse me.
What are you going to do with all those eggs? Oh, this is a special prescription. Special? Mm. Nana, you're so very pretty. Your hair is so beautiful. to improve your sexual drive. <laughs> there once was a lonely man who wanted all for his love. singing. I want you to stop it. Why don't you make all of us stop it? <laughs> but you can't. with all of you later. Mm. <laughs> I feel so hot. My heart is beating so much. <laughs> I think you've drunk too much. <laughs> oh, no. I've only drunk a little. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I know what the reason is. Uh, what's the reason? Ma, you're with a fine, sexy, young black man. <laughs> I think you're a very sexy young lady. You follow? <laughs> That's why you're so nervous. <laughs> well, my friend, to repay you for the drinks, I think I'll put on a special performance just for you. <laughs> Drink hasn't stimulated me yet. 
Mister, who are you looking for? That guy in room nine. I know he's down there. Well, you've just gone out. You can't go in there. Hmm. Uh, open it. I will if you pay. Oh, my friend. Who are you looking for? Oh, no, no. Nana, we're going home. She's a little loaded, but I promise you, me and her never really got it on. She's all yours, baby. You were damned. Now, wait a minute. Will you wait? Now then, this is a high-class joint. No place for fighting. What about all those people? Bye! Get back. Come on. You were supposed to watch the diamond cutter. What the hell have you been doing? Is it because of that bitch? You think you can hide anything from me? I already knew you two were together. If you love her, why the hell didn't you come and tell me, huh? I would have given her to you. I couldn't care less. There's no need to sneak around in the dark. All right. I'll give you just one more chance. I have to kill that black guy. If I want to ever be able to sell the diamond. I've passed on the information to all the jewelry shops. That if that black guy comes looking, to send him here. And we'll be waiting. Tung Hao, try and kill him. Boss, if I kill the black guy, can I take her away with me? All right. It's a deal. against many again. me the diamond right now. Have you finished, old man? You know nothing about diamonds. It takes time to cut one. All right, I'm stupid. Now shut up. Give it to me. What did you say? Come on, give it to me. Give it to me. Come on. Uh, uh, uh. Damn. Oh, oh, oh. Spit it out, old man. Spit it out. <laughs> <laughs> 
we could leave. <laughs> you know all about me. You leave over my dead body. I'm gonna leave. I'll leave with Nana. Then we'll, we'll forget about the past. Even if I let you go right now, you think the police will be so kind as to let you walk right out of this mess? We're going. <laughs> <laughs> wants you. He's fighting till now. Who guard the black guard then, huh? Oh, it's all right. I'll take care of him. Let's go. Come on. Hurry. Ah! 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 
thing to come out of all this is that we have become friends. You wait. I'll be going to the States in two years if I'm lucky. <laughs> you may be freed in a year and a half if you behave yourself well. All right, then he'll be able to see you at Christmas. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to seeing you at Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> 